Mr. Speaker, I think it is clear to the American people that there are far more important issues facing this nation than what we're addressing right now. The President said the time for games is over. I agree with the President. He graciously accepted my apology, and the issue is over. It is the Democrat leadership in their rush to pass a very bad government health care plan that is bad medicine for America. It has muzzled the voices we represent and provoked partisanship. When we are done here today, we will not have taken any steps closer to helping more American families afford health insurance or helping small businesses create new jobs. The challenges our nation faces are far bigger than any one member of this House. I think this is a sad day for the House of Representatives. I think that uh, this is nothing more than a partisan stunt uh, aimed at trying to divert people's attention from the real issue uh, that uh, the American people want to talk, and that's talk about health care. This is not about partisan politics or inappropriate comments. To the contrary, this is about the rules of this House and reprehensible conduct. When one of us, while seated in a formal session, severely violates the rules of this body by shamelessly hurling accusations of mendacity towards the President of these United States, our Commander-in-Chief, and refuses to formally express remorse, we, at a minimum, are duty-bound to express our disapproval. On this vote, the yeas are 240, the nays are 179, voting President of five, the resolution is adopted.